if you meet a situation consciously, if you meet a situation consciously, you will change the outcome of the situation. This means that if you approach a person in a kinder manner, whether or not didn't whether or not they have reciprocated the response, you will change the situation. Now that's a big deal, right? Because in your mind, you think that it's all on them, but it's not. That's, it's all on them from their perspective. Let's say they don't see that, right? My cat does not know that <laughs> my cat does not know what am i trying to say here so as you could see earlier as you saw earlier in the video, when I pet my cat a little bit roughly, he turned out around and bit me on the hand, right? Pretty hard. But then I stopped and I started petting him more gently because I approached the situation consciously and I realized, hey, he doesn't like this. He doesn't like that, right? And instead of blaming him for biting me, I decided to change the way I was petting him. And what did he do? He sat there and enjoyed me petting him. Did he have to? No, but it worked, right? It changed the situation. Same with a person you approach them in a rude way, they're going to bite you. They're going to respond in a negative way, depending on their level of consciousness. Now, if they're super conscious, they're probably going to respond in a loving way. And they're going to change the situation because then you're going to be like, uh, oh shit, I didn't expect that. Right? So you want to be that person. To make someone say, oh shit, I didn't expect that. Because when you, when someone approaches you in an aggressive manner and it doesn't phase you and you're still just as sweet and just as kind as you would have been if they approached you in a negative way, you automatically change the situation because now you surprise them. They're like, oh. How, how, how am I supposed to be mean <laughs> to someone that was just nice to be, be being mean? It, obviously, it didn't work, right? Like, me being mean, like, the whole reason someone's being mean is because they expect you to be mean. But when you're not, <laughs> then they have to rethink their strategy. It's not working. So to speak. Maybe they don't have a strategy, but in a way, they're expecting a result. They're expecting people to be mean, and so they're being mean. It's like a defense mechanism, right? Like, attack first, right? Attack first. Uh, the best defense is, is what's that saying? Um, the best defense is a good offense. Right? So just attack first. So then you get the first blow, right? Get <laughs> now what happens if the other person is like Bruce Lee? He's like water. He just, just, it just, whoop, just goes right through him. And he just, bloop, just flows with it. Doesn't, doesn't bother him at all. It doesn't hurt him at all. You, you throw your biggest strike, just, and he's just like cool, calm, just whoosh, water. 
doesn't affect them. That, that'll shock the shit out of you, right? There's a story of someone who spit on Buddha's face. And he just wiped it off. The guy couldn't sleep the, the next night, the night after. Buddha's brother Ananda was really, really upset. He was about to attack the person and Buddha said, you don't need to do anything. I'm not upset. The guy came back and fell at his feet after not being able to sleep for a few nights. And begged him for forgiveness and buddha said i don't there is nothing to forgive because i was never upset that's true power true power when he approached the situation from a conscious point of view realizing that that response was the most powerful response you know there would have been no lesson learned if he just beat the crap out of the guy, right? That wouldn't have been a Buddha thing to do. <laughs> Imagine Buddha just like, ah, 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 beat the crap out of him. <laughs> there would be, that would not be a Buddha. <laughs> so, meet the situation consciously, you change the situation. So what happens in the external world depends on your state of consciousness. Let that sink in. Something Eckhart, these are all Eckhart Tolle. This is Eckhart Tolle talking right now through Marat. <laughs> what happens in the external world depends on your level of consciousness. That means you are creating your reality. You probably hear that all the time. And we don't realize that we're creating our reality because we think that things happen out there and then, you know, we're getting affected. We're like, oh, shit, oh, dodge that one. Oh, we're playing this game. Like, <laughs> But actually, things are happening here and they're being reciprocated. Reality is reciprocating everything our responses our reactions it's reciprocating them now of course it's doing this with everybody so it's like a giant game but you you directly impact your own reality because your consciousness is directly connected to the situation so it's not like you're separate and the cat mojo <laughs> right He's separate. No, we're both in the same situation. I rub, I pet him roughly. He bites my hand. If I got mad and I smacked him or like punched him or something, then the response would change. He, he would either bite me harder or he'd run, you know, depending on the dynamic of the situation. Like if you do this, let's say he was a feral cat. I would have been done. I would have been done. He would have bitten the shit out of my hand and I would have been in the hospital. Now, my situation would have been completely different from what it would have been if I approached the situation consciously and decided, oh, that's a feral cat. I'm going to respect this cat and I'm going to leave him be. Because he ain't messing around. He ain't my friend Mojo here. He's not my cat. My cat will give me, leave me off the hook. He'll bite me and it'll hurt. But he won't dig his teeth into me. Which he could very easily if he wanted to. But he loves me so he won't do that. So there's a different dynamic at play. Your consciousness. And the reality that you live in. Are one and the same. So your reaction, your
response to the situation directly affects the situation. I hope this is making sense. Once you realize that you're not at the mercy of the situation, but its own creator, you begin to change external reality by being present and sometimes taking the proper action. So you don't even need to act, but when you take the right action, you change the situation towards your the outcome that you would like or the better outcome. Even if you don't like that, but it's the right outcome, you will move it towards the correct outcome because you don't think in terms of selfishness. You think in terms of what's best for everything, everyone. Our job is to first shift our consciousness deeper and higher. Then this shift will create a ripple effect affecting other human beings. The situation we are in is exactly what we need for our evolution. And everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I hope you have a wonderful end of the year. It's been a difficult one. But also, I think I've learned the most out of any year. And I have this strong feeling that every year I will be learning more and more in different ways. But I can feel myself consciously becoming deeper and becoming more aware than I've ever been. More loving, more connected with my emotions, more fulfilled by less. Even though my, my outside circumstances have been really, really challenging in the last year, and they still are, I'm looking at everything in a very positive light and I'm seeing the big picture slowly, very slowly. And I'm smiling because I'm enjoying the process of discovering who I am. And I hope you do the work too. And I hope we can connect more. Keep living loving and leveling up and seize the moment to give you enough much love